welcome back to my channel. This video is a little different and I attempted to film my other two pop-ups and that was a fail. And I'm nervous about this one because I don't want to like not get it done. You know what I mean? Um, side note, I'm so sorry about the lighting. The lighting in this room sucks. Uh, I like, I need to really change the light bulb. Hi, Winnie Bear. I know you want to say hi, sweetheart. <laughs> um, yeah, the lighting in here sucks. I need to get the light bulbs changed, so I'm so sorry about that. It's like so orange. And my lights are in the car, so yeah. Anyways, so yeah, we have a pop-up tomorrow at Arapahoe County Fairgrounds. Have it from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. So it's not the full day. And I'm excited because I have the last pop-up that I did was back in August. Uh, no beginning of October and this one is supposedly is gonna have about 150 vendors and they paid for like promotions and ads and all that stuff so uh, supposedly we're supposed to have about 2,000 people coming and I hope that's true I'm so excited and I hope we make some sales because pop-ups is always where I make the most amount of money which makes sense um, I've only had I want to say two pop-ups that have not been successful but like I don't want to say they haven't been successful. They haven't been successful in the way of money, but they've been successful with like networking. So that's another thing, like side note, if you guys like are trying to do like pop-ups and stuff, um, pop-ups are not just about making money. Pop-ups are about like networking, meeting other people, making friends, um, learning, you know, because I have learned something new at every pop-up that I've been to. So it's always like a good experience. So if you are thinking of doing pop-ups, definitely do. Right now what I'm going to do is I need to plan everything that I'm taking. I'm trying to load everything in the car tonight because I'm supposed to be there, I believe, at 7.30, which is early, girl. So I want to just make sure I have everything ready and packed up so I won't stress in the morning. Okay, guys, it is way later. Like always, I'm... Oh, it's taking forever. <laughs> but, okay, let me show you guys my clothing racks that I'm going to take. And then I basically just put everything that I want to take. So, yeah. Um, so here I have basically all the sweaters, the coats, um, and then here, like, dresses and, like, bottoms. So this is what I'm going to put up in the hangers. And then the last, the one thing that I'm also missing that I'm going to add to this rack is the um black jumpsuit i'm gonna add that one but basically what i was doing right now is like putting all of the tags and then the price i used to never put the price like for my first pop-ups but i realized it's way helpful it's like so helpful for the customer because you they don't have they won't constantly ask you like oh how much is this how much is that and then some people like get shy to ask you know what i mean so it's better to just have it there for the customer oh my god it's really irritating me so i don't have that many pink um hangers so i'm using pink and black and it's really bugging me how like it's not all one color you know what i mean Ugh. but yeah but um i already put in this basket the winter the holiday slippers and then i'm gonna take the red gloves yeah i'll show you guys everything at the end but for now this is the clothes Good morning, you guys. It is pop-up day. And oh, I'm out of breath, sorry. So it's Saturday, December 2nd. I'm ready. Um, so um, it's 7 a.m. I woke up a little later than what I wanted to. I wanted to be up at 5, but girl, that was not going to happen. <laughs> so I woke up around like 6.15. And it's 7 now. I'm ready to go. I'm going to pick up my sister because my sister's coming with me. But I'll tell you guys that on the way. This is what the car is looking like. You guys can't really see it, but this is oh, over here. Hold. This is what the car situation is looking like. It looks like a lot, only because... <sighs> this box has like a lot of like fluffy chunky stuff and this has shoes and when you take shoes obviously in different sizes like a variety so that's always what's like 
a lot extra. But anyways, enough talking. Let's go because... Here, let me get in the car and then I'll talk to you guys. Okay, so let's go. Um, I'm not running late. I'm um, checking was at 7, 7.02. But um, like that's when the doors opened. But um, the ladies you could check in is 8.30. Um, you just have to be ready by 8.45. And I don't think, so like, I don't think it's going to take me long to set up because like I just have to really like take out the clothes. Everything's already in hangers. So I just have to like put everything up and then just lay like some accessories out which is not going to take me forever. So I thought about it and I was like mm, I don't have to get there too too early. But I do want to get there by like 8, 8.15. I think that'll give me like enough time. Oh, I did not want to get up you guys like oh my god. You know, Sorry, this is probably in the way, but I think this is the best we can get this to, like, stay. So, uh, you know, when it's like, in el, la mejor parte del sueño, like, not like the dream, but like, like, it's like the perfect time, like, to sleep. Oh, that's like the moment my alarm just went off. I was like, really? Like, you know, when you feel like you're barely going deep into sleep, I felt like that's how I felt when my alarm went off. But anyways, so right now I'm gonna go pick up my sister. My sister is coming with me, thank God, because I'm so shy. So, I'm so glad she's coming with me because I'm so shy and I don't like going to pop-ups for myself. We usually do all of our pop-ups together because, um, as you guys may know from my previous video, she has a vintage shop. So, she usually goes with me. Unfortunately, she's not doing this one with me, but she's still coming. So, I'm so thankful. So, I'm gonna get us some breakfast. Um, we're gonna get some Chick-fil-A. And then we're gonna head straight there. Her house is about a, there's no traffic right now, so I think it'll be like a 15, 20 minute drive. So yeah, I will see you guys when I pick her up. I hope I'm not forgetting anything. I have cash. Out of all the pop-ups that I've done, um, I think I've done like four or five. I think this is the one that I feel more organized. I don't know. Like I actually feel like everything's good to go you know what i mean like i don't feel like i'm stressed about it not, not having like me not having something or etc you know so yeah but anyways okay i will see you guys when i'm at my sister's house okay guys i'm at my sister's house i'm just waiting for her to come out my sister's the type of person okay i love chick-fil-a breakfast but i hate how like they're biscuits so like you get crumbs everywhere you know anyways my sister's the type of person you have to text her you're here like 20 minutes before you get to her house because that girl y'all <laughs> it's 7 38 now um it's like a 20 minute drive from my sister's house to the pop-up i just realized every time i eat fast food with you guys i'm always eating chick-fil-a i think i said that in my last vlog if i'm not eating at a restaurant like if i'm eating fast food it's gonna be chick-fil-a period chick-fil-a or chipotle but most of the time it's chick-fil-a because i'm lazy to get off the car <laughs> anyways yeah so i'm nervous I don't know why I feel nervous, but then I'm in los nervios. Which is not good. I hate feeling nervous, you guys. Fucking hate it. Like, that's the one feeling I hate. I'd rather feel heartbroken than nervous. <laughs> no mention. It's my biscuit, a pinch of chicken. The one thing I didn't bring was a table and chairs, which is what I needed to bring. But my sister's gonna let me borrow hers. It's 7.40, I called her at like 7.36. So let's see how long it takes her to come out. Okay, it's 7.51, she helped me get the chairs. But you see how long it takes this woman to come out? Ida, <laughs> Ida. Plus size sweater, it's so cute. Is it comfortable? Yes. Does it itch? No. 
Are you lying to me? Because we're on the law. No, 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 they're not. It doesn't. It doesn't itch. It's cute. It looks so cute. And then I'm wearing our Christmas sweater. So we've been here for like an hour and a half. Yeah. But it doesn't really count because we oh, like an hour. Yeah, no, it's 9.53. The doors open at 9. Yeah. So it's been so far no sales, which I'm sad. But hopefully it'll get better from here. We're here till 3. We're here till 3. Um, we changed up the setup to have to re-show you guys. And I think it looks way better. The lady in front of us helped us. Yeah. I feel like it looks way better. I do too. I'll like insert a clip. Okay, bye. And bye. it's like so quiet and awkward, so I'm playing our own music, but I can't. Christmas music. It's a Chris. It's a holiday theme. Bye. bye. All right, you guys. It is days after the pop up. Um, I didn't really have time to close up the vlog that day. Um, after that clip that you guys saw, we had like people constantly coming up at the booth, and then when I was done with that, I went and worked with my dad at the food truck. So I didn't have time, <laughs> but I'm here now. I wanted to kind of sit down with you guys and tell you guys how much we made and my experience and all that stuff. I'm not going to go too much off track because I just wanted to focus on like the pop-up. You know what I mean? But basically, so we made 312. This is my Shopify, as so you guys can see. $312 that day. Um, but when you do pop-ups, you have to keep in consideration how much your commute is and how much you pay to be at that pop-up. So for example, I paid $120 to attend that pop-up event, which is pretty pricey. Um, pop-ups can like vary. Like I've paid as little as $25 and then I've spent the most, I think 150. So yeah, it varies. But for this one, I paid 120 and then I made 312. So minusing that I made like $192. <laughs> Which is not bad, but obviously it could be better. Like, I've had better pop-ups. I think one, I made $700, but I don't remember. But I know for a fact, the first one that I ever did was really, really good. So, this pop-up, there was actually a lot of people. Um, the reason I think I didn't make that many sales was because it was not my target market at all. Um, it was a lot of older people. Um, like, not my target market that was really attending that. But it's okay, like I still made some sales. Um, it was just like a lot of older folks and yeah. So I didn't really sell that much clothes. Um, I, the things that I sold the most were like accessories. Um, some clothing, but like not much. So yeah, but I mean, like I mentioned earlier in the vlog, like pop-ups are not about just making the money. It's about networking, it's about learning, it's about like meeting people and Truly, honestly, like I personally believe if you're starting off, definitely do pop-up markets. Like all of the ones that you can. Like sometimes, yes, I'm not gonna lie to you, you're gonna be like, damn, like I came and wasted my time. But at the same time, like you can't look at it that way because you'll learn like, okay, who's pop-ups to attend, who's not to attend, like how to like market it, how to like, you know what I mean? And another thing also talking about marketing, like, I really thought it was fake, so I didn't like, market it anywhere so i think that also had a lot to do with it i just don't trust anybody <laughs> but um yeah you'll learn so much you know what i mean and like you'll like learn off of every pop-up that you do um for example at this pop-up i learned i like learned a new setup you know what i mean like i learned i find like after all these pop-ups that i've been to like this pop-up like i finally learned like what setup attracts more people to me and like the setup that's easier to like set up like you just learn a lot from other people as well. Um, and then also you when shopping online and shopping in person is obviously two different experiences. So I feel like when you meet your customers in person or a customer in person, it gives you like another way to look at your store, if that makes any sense. Like you're like, oh, okay. Like they're asking me these questions. Oh my God, my camera's gonna die. They're asking me these questions. So like, how can I bring that into my online store? You know what I mean? Yeah, but anyways, I can make a lot more detailed video. My camera's about to die about all this, but I just wanted to tell you guys how much I made in all that jazz. So thank you guys so much for coming along with me. I had so much fun, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I will see you guys in my next one, and yeah, bye.